Hello everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixark. Last time we built this awesome base, I'm really happy how it turned out. And before we continue downwards into a mineshaft that I want to um, expand today, um, and then also I want to tame a new animal or two maybe in the end that um, are more dangerous, um, so I want to bring you guys along for that, is I wanted to show you guys a few tames that I have... Ooh, let me bring this up. That I tamed between episodes, as you guys can see, I'm level 62 now. I did a bunch of taming. It's actually been two days since I last recorded in-game. So I did a lot of off-camera work. You know, just nothing that exciting that I wanted to really show that you guys haven't seen a million times before. But the things that I tamed is, I tamed a Fiomia drive-by. I just, it was there when I was taming something else. Another trike, level 21. Just, again, it was stuck when I was taming something else. Um, I finally got a griffin. Griffin was level 50, and uh, no, level 48, I think, yes. And now it's level 61. I leveled them up quite a bit and used them for exploring and so on. And it's really cool because it has a lot of hit points and it's quite strong. I only pretty much take it out when I actually want to kill things um, or go somewhere where it's dangerous. Otherwise, I still take the fairy dragon. Uh, it's my favorite one, actually. It's fast, it's it has good HP and it has the shield so you can get out of danger easy. Okay, um, and then the other thing is we tamed up a Stego and a Wild Boar here. Um, I just wanted to tame some things and kind of play around with them. Oh yeah, and also tamed this guy, a slime. <laughs> um, I, initially I tamed it because I thought if I have that on my head, maybe I cannot get struck by lightning. Ooh, he's set to aggressive. No, 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 passive. You're not going anywhere. And I just placed them down a couple minutes ago here because I heard that when you give them meat, they make you polymer passively. So I kind of want to test it if that works. Um, I haven't seen it. So the, the first one is here is this boar. You get that in the bamboo forest and he's completely stuck. All right, let's try this again. In a different position, like right there. There we go. He just got stuck in the elevator. I don't know what the point is of these guys. Um, I, 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 I have a saddle for all of these, of course. So I rode him around. He's very slow. He has a charge ability. Uh, he when he cannot harvest bamboo. He harvests bamboo, but you only get two. That's it. Um, no berries, nothing, right? Um, and I heard that you can use these to farm magical wood. That's the only ones that can farm magical wood. The stego and the trikens on apparently cannot. But... I could never take him into the magical forest bomb. He has 113 health. That guy would die so fast at level 36. A shadow leopard would just look at it and it would die, right? So I'm not sure what the point is of these. Um, maybe besides just looking funny. That's it. Named him Pumba. You know, very appropriate, I think. So I don't think I'm going to take him out, but we have him in case there's ever something we need one for. And then the other one, I need to step back quite a bit here. Um, that I like a lot. This is the best farming animal, I think, in the game right now. Um, unbelievable. It's a Stego. Level 58, Whack-A-Mole. And I took it for 10 minutes into a grasslands and just killed all the trees. And as a side effect, all the thatch and berries around it because it swings in a large radius to the left and to the right, right? And in 10 minutes, it got me a 1,000 wood, over 3,000 thatch and countless berries and seeds as well as um a hundred no no 250 um tree saplings this thing is absolutely amazing it has really good health for an herbivore 1800 um weight almost 700 i did no problem i had oh we can give it two points what am i gonna give it points in i think just weight 7, 11, 7, 38. That makes a lot of sense. Um, speed, that you don't really need this is speed and so on. So, guys, get yourself a Stego. It's unbelievable how good of a farmer they are. All right, and that's how much time I want to spend with you guys on these tames. And that's why I'm happy I didn't record taming them. Because you, you walk up to them, force feed them berries, and that's it. Nothing to taming these. The Griffin, we already showed you. Or I already showed you when I was taming one with a Glitch. And the same one, we just flew it into the into the taming pen and knocked it out and fed it <clears throat> so but you guys see the two things changed here on the on on the building right and that is what i want to keep working on on today there's a, a a wooden elevator prepared for bigger elevator going down as well as a rail cart 
And the idea is mine shaft is underground. And I have a cart down there that I can fill with all the heavy things, right? And then when it's full or I want to send it up, I send it here and it's waiting here and I can unload it. And of course, I want to have a way of getting down and that's what the elevator is for. And yeah, let's take the elevator down. That way I can show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So there's this new building around it right next to the other tower that's right there. And the minecart comes in up there and then merges and runs in a spiral around the actual elevator. Um, um, Glitch helped me digging out all of this. We also built one over in his new base. Uh, very similar. And it just keeps wrapping around all the way down. Right? And then this right here is going to be the, the medium elevator, which is going to be 3x3. Three three. That's why I have this here. And the good thing is also having the rail cart here, as I can show you real quick. We can also use it as an emergency. Like, we can run up and down on it very easily. Um, you know, in case the elevator is, I don't have power or something happens, I can always walk up and down right here, right? And then this comes down to Y level 60. That's my first stop right here. And the elevator is still on its way. There it is. All right, cool. And I made this little bit of a mining outpost here, right? I, I needed a lot of this um, fine stone wall. So I actually built one of these down here, the DIY hut. And I kind of think it fits. It's kind of like a workstation down here, right? And I just made it a little bit nicer with the with the cobble floor, the stone ceilings and so on. Then, so it's just, it's locked up, right? Um, a bed also down here in case I ever... You, you you can die in these mine shafts quite easily, okay? That's that's a long drop. And even with the spring boots here, you're still going to die when you come down here, right? And sometimes it happens that the elevators glitch out a little bit and you fall through. Um, and that's why having the bed right here is good. So I don't need to run down. Um, and the vault, by the way, I found in a purple beacon. No, yellow beacon. Yellow. At level 60, you can open the yellow beacons. And it had one of these. And this is holds 150 right there. It just has a bunch more um, wood and thatch for elevators or whatnot. And this is everything I have in here. And the minecart is all from this level right here. It's it's full. It has all 20 slots filled. Um, and some things I brought up by hand when I didn't have too much. But I've been slowly filling this, right? And so now when I'm ready, I can light the fire and send it up and it will wait upstairs for me to unload. And then here, you guys see it's going to be another mine shaft and that, oh, I shouldn't say elevator shaft. And that's going to go down all the way to zero. The reason for separating this that we have learned over in actually Glitch's base, um, a lot of times we build something in his base first to learn it and then I can build it over here to show you guys. So I want to say thanks to him for being my guinea pig a lot of times. <laughs> Um, is that when you have an elevator or a rail, actually more rail cart, the elevators are not that big of a problem, but the rail cart, if I would run this all the way down to zero, I cannot send it back up because the top train station would be unrendered and they both need to be rendered. This train station and the station on top for me to send this. Let me show you here real quick. So when I say light fire, you can see I can return it now. You don't get the return option if if it's not rendered. So what my plan here is that I'm going to have another train that starts here spiraling around this one all the way down to zero. So when that one is full, I take I send it up to here. I take the elevator up and then I can stand in here, unload from one into this one and then I send this back up. You know, it's this one extra step that doesn't bother me at all, but you know, a couple thousand pounds of gems and metal and so on comes up at once. So this is what I want to do today with you guys. I want to dig this all the way down and I also want to place this new elevator over here. But just before we do that, I dug, I put these doors in here. There's one shaft here. This shaft right here is just a long mine shaft. There's nothing at the end. This is the longest so far. Um, and then we have this one here that actually ends in a cave. Um, just a little bit beyond here, just at the end right there where you can see it. I don't want to run there to save some time, but that goes into a cavern, into a big cave underneath, as well as this one. They both go into the same cavern. This one is much shorter. It's just a short run over here, and we're going into a cave system right here, which is perfect because if I need truffles or anything, I can get those. This over here, oh man, it's so hard to see. Um, let me gamma real quick so you guys can see that. Ah, you can barely see it, but you guys see right there, Actually, let me get the rifle. I might be able to show you that better. 
you see this right here, the strip? That is the railroad track that I ran from from the old Hobbit hole over to Glitch's base, to the taming pen, right? And you guys remember last episode I told you, no, two days, two, two episodes ago, that all of this filled in again, and the stone that was underneath it was removed, but the actual tracks are still hovering in the air. How funny is that? I don't even know what the regular gamma is. I never changed this. Two? Okay. Two looks good. Yeah. And here's an elevator just so I can easily go down and do things in the base, in, in the cave here. Man, this is dark today. What time is it? 2 a.m. I should have waited until morning. But anyway. So we got the cave. And then the last coolest mine shaft here is this one right here. You guys see it says petroleum. Man, I lucked out on this one. Just a short run over here and I broke into this and I got so happy when I saw that. I got a petroleum pond here. So we can actually get petroleum and whatnot here in one of the future episodes to make gasoline and all these things, right? Which is awesome. I'm, I'm really happy about that. But so that's it down here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to run upstairs real quick. Um, not gonna, I'm not going to take the elevator. I'm just going to leave it here. This is so fast this, when you run up here. You should guys see. It's really just a quick... I'm not sprinting, nothing. This is just normal speed. And then we're up at the top. Here goes out of this building. So this is where these two join together. And I just needed this to join in here above ground. So nothing can run up here, right? They can jump. And there's our cart. And let me just turn off the fire. And I'm going to unload this later. So this works cool, right? But the thing I want to do today is I want to replace this with an electric um, elevator. And now we can make the fabricator. There we go. I wonder how big this is, if it's going to fit in here. I think it's 3 by 2 or something. Um, do we have them all? Yes. I just don't like anything in here. I always like it in this chest, my pestle chest. So now let's check here. I'm going to have to pick up this poop. Because you cannot place anything when there is poop on the ground. You know, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I cannot... Oh wow, that's it's quite big. Is that gonna be in my way here? Let's just place it here. I can still walk out easily. I don't get stuck on it and I can still get to this unnamed chest over here. Okay, cool. So we got this. So now what does it take here to structures, elevator. So this is gonna take a bunch of iron and wood. Iron and wood, okay. And then... Electric? We need this guy right here, the power generator, which takes iron, firestone powder, and quartz. I have all that as well. And then these here take polymer and copper. Yes, alright, so let's make 100 polymer first. But before I can do that, I need to make gasoline. I forgot. Let's get some leather. And we're gonna need some of that. I have a chest called Fabricator that has polymer and electronics. I don't... Well, I'm going to keep them on me just in case I need them. So let's get... Well, I don't think there's any reason to hold on to the oil itself. Let's just turn all of these into... Um, let's take five. Let's take ten. And let's turn all of these into gasoline. And I think we're doing that in here. Yes, right there. So... Light fire and craft all oh, 44? What? It says craft all 44, but it's crafting 22. Does this give you two? That Oh, it makes you two at a time. That's why. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I thought it was one for one. Okay, cool. And then let's get this out. And we're gonna need one gasoline here real quick. Can I just control left click? That gave me one. Perfect. Because this one here lasts quite some time, if I remember. Yeah, one gas lasts you 15 minutes. And now we're going to craft... Aha, it takes two bonus. Let's craft all 50 polymer. Uh, I just want to show you guys this one time, of course. And then I'm not going to show you all of these steps again. And so let's go ahead and take this down while I wait for this to craft. It's just a cover. Now thinking of putting the generator back here. Oh, I didn't even check what it takes for that. A generator back here and then we can power the, the elevator that we're going to place. 
But then there's also a hole where I want to run electricity all the way down because we're going to need to power the other elevator as well. There's something weird happening here right now. I cannot figure out what's going on. Why are these not stacked? There we go. I cannot place anything in this block space or this block space. Like I, I cannot place, I, I broke the trees that were down here. I killed that plant that was over there. I don't know if, I, I don't know. Uh, like above here, where is it? Right there. Let's see what's above us. A bed. But I was able to place above underneath this bed. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't know what, why I cannot place something here. But I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And then try it again after server restart or something and see if we can place something here. But for right now, it doesn't really matter. I got all the other stuff together here. So, we got the generator. Now let's put that here. We got um, the... Junction box, we got some wires, and we're going to place this first and see um, where it is. I needed to make a little bit more room. It would have been too cramped back here. So I'm thinking of putting this guy right here. That leaves us a little bit of room to play with things. Yeah, let's put it right there. Bam. Okay, cool. And then I wanted to see if we can come out of two different sides. So can I... Okay, this is the wrong one. I want this one. So I can come out from there. And from there. And this one could go down. Let's... Yeah, let's let's try it. So let's come here. Then this way. And then here. And then it would start going down. Right, 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 right there. All right, and I'm going to run all this down to where it needs to go here in a second. But I still need to get a junction box here. And I was thinking of using that for that. Um, actually, can I just put the junction box? No, I cannot put the junction box directly. Oh, I can put it there. I can put it directly there. So this elevator would be powered from the same one. Okay, so that is perfect. So what I'm going to do right now is, well, I'm probably sure we should get those started crafting. Did you get any polymer yet for us? No, you, you're lazy. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and craft this up real quick here. Elevator. What am I missing for this? Wood. I thought I had wood. Not enough. My wood is right there. Just give it to me. Structures, elevators. Okay, so let's make the... I'm just going to make... Oh, I still have to give this some power here as well. Let's put... Oh, um, split one off. Yes. And put that here and turn on. And we're going to craft one of these. And then let's just craft... How many can I craft? 16. Um, I'm going to have to come from the bottom up. I'm just going to say I probably need at least 10 at minimum. Well, actually 10 is 30 blocks. Uh, craft all 16. Sure, let's go ahead. And that is probably... I was short on wood, so that's good. I, I should have enough iron. Let's see here real quick. How much do I have left? Yes, I have plenty of iron for today, I think. And I have more in this cart over here. I think there's another 100. Yep, right there. I'll, I don't want to carry that right now. Okay. So, how this is going to work now is I need to go and start all the way from the bottom. I'll run this elevator track all the way up. And I wanted to just show you guys real quick how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to take these with me and this. And can I just get all this off my bar? I hate that it puts everything on your bar first. That is so, so dumb. <laughs> Let's eat. So, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to stand on this. Hold down E, demolish. And then I should always fall three blocks. There we go. And I'm going to go all the way down with this. And then we have to build the elevator back up. One more. And we're at the bottom. And it broke the elevator. Okay, cool. So now from here, I need to make my way back up. And it should be easy to do with... Um, with the rail cart. Yeah, that, that seems to be the front right here with the four... 
So let's go in and place the first one. I don't want to misplace them because they're quite expensive to make. Well, not really. Okay, so I'm not going to click here, but this is three right there. And we're going to place that thing all the way in the end when it's powered on the top. So now if I come around here, yeah, that should be perfect to place them. Going all the way back up top. So it was 19 altogether. I already crafted two more and now a third one. And we are on the top. Very nice. Okay, so now let's see if we can hook this fella up. Okay, it needs to be on the bottom of one of them, but that's fine. We should just be able to put it here. Unfortunately, it's blue, but there's nothing I can do. And then let's see if we can craft this or put place this here. I hope it works. If not, we'll just break it and make another one. Okay. So now we're going to just for right now, let's put one. I, I don't want to waste too much of this because I don't have much yet, even though we can get the oil and turn this on. And this runs for one hour on one gasoline. And does this tell us here something? Powered. Yes. And E, elevate. There it is. And it goes nice and flush here. I love it. Very cool. So now the other thing is, um, let's go ahead and take this down. It's definitely faster than the wooden. And you guys see, you don't fall off. You can also come down with multiple people or possible even a dino, right? Um, but let me stop here. Stop. And then you can also, if like right now, if you check, it shows drop. So it will just keep dropping, right? But you can also just click elevate and come back up. Because I wanted to show you guys right here. Let's stop there. You guys see right there is the cable coming down. And it's going to come all the way to here. And then down there where you see the track. It, and I'm actually going to run it into the wall and then all the way down. Because right here the spiral is one offset. And I don't remember why that was. For some reason. But anyway, so we have the room to come down here with the wires. Do I have any more on me right now? Vertical cable. And I'm going to run all those down to the bottom. So this whole spiel... Look at that. It placed it up there. You guys saw this is... Oh, well, I'm, I'm not even going to... I'm not going to sweat it. I, I didn't lose it. I, I can break it. I'm not going to get anything back for it. But oh well. So that's right here, right? Oh, there. No. So where did it place this one just now? I'm just curious. <laughs> where did you put it? Is straight underneath it? Driving me crazy. But anyways, guys, let me run this cable down. I'll figure out where it is and whatnot. And then we'll make the new mineshaft going down to zero. Looks pretty cool, I think. I, I placed three of these golden lampstands in the corner in the wall there because it was really dark at night when you went up there, even with the bug on your shoulder. And it looks a lot better this way. Um, so the power came in right here. That was quite easy. Um, lots of polymer. Oh my god, you need so much polymer. And it actually went through the ceiling. I didn't have to break it, nothing. Um, it just placed right through. And I was able to place them along the ceiling. You see, they're all blue, so they're powered. But it does not let me place the junction box right there. So I think what I'm going to do here... That's why I had to go upstairs one more time to get a few more cables. And then I why? Why do you do this? You're driving me insane, game. Ah. Alright, I guess we're gonna place it there then. <laughs> it was clearly snapped over here. Alright, so let's place it here. And then I was thinking of coming down... One right there. Okay, it placed it. And then I wanted to see... Man, I don't like it. I wanted it to come up in right above the elevator. We cannot place this. Why? So yeah, you can place them on the ground. You just apparently you cannot place them in the air or on the ceiling. But when they're on the ground, you can place them. Just kind of sad. I really was hoping that I can just place it up here on the ceiling. But it's fine. We'll survive. And this thing now says powered. So that's cool. And I have 19 more tracks and then the platform itself. And that should get me down to bedrock. It's probably going to be two blocks off bedrock because I don't know if zero is bedrock 
or one or two i don't know i've never seen bedrock and now what how this is gonna work is ooh, iron is i'm simply going to always go down three i'm gonna show you here one real quick how it's done and then you can place the elevator track and i'm not gonna worry about the uh, actually i should worry about the walls because i want this to be just stone and then later we of course we still have to wrap around the the actual um track for the for the mine cart and then you just go one two three and now i can place the next one just like that um, you can only place them if they have a solid block underneath it. Um, otherwise, if, if, if there was no solid block, I couldn't place it. So you cannot hang it onto another one, right? Makes sense. But it will work this way. All the way down to bedrock. And like I said, I've probably got a little bit of mining to do here. Because if I find things on the wall, of course, I'm going to get them all out. And then fill it all back in. So later when I run the elevator... Uh, sorry, the rail cart in spiral spiral around this. Um, I don't fall into holes or something like that. You know, it could always be dangerous. But yeah, I'll be back when all this is uh, dug out. I'm almost done with uh, laying the uh, rail tracks here. I got uh, one more turn. And down here, you guys see this different colored block. That is bedrock. And I made it all the way down with the elevator, of course, first wasn't hard at all and these uh, luckily we can place in the air like that now the problem is i don't know where i'm gonna come down now the elevator and the two blocks above uh, the the bottom so i needed to build this this little pedestal here right so when the platform is actually down it's all the way to here you guys can see that's a long way up there um and i did a little bit of preparing here um digging and on the way down i also found Oh, what is it called? White crystal or shiny crystal or something like that, which appears to be only really far down here. So now I'm hmm, I'm not sure where I want to bring this. So if I bring it, I should probably turn it right there. Let's see if we can make the turns hover as well. I, I've never tested that. Oh, yeah, of course, I, you know, God forbid you can place a block next to a railroad track. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's see if we can turn this. And I've been using the um, mining helmet here more and more now. The candle helmet instead of the bug because, uh, I don't know, the bugs, they keep dying. <laughs> Um, and I'm tired of taming more, so I'm just... And this helmet I can just take off, just like I always have a lightning protection now with me. Um, in case I'm out and about, I need two of these. And I run into a thunderstorm, I, you know, I can put that on and then make my way back home. Let's see if these stay in the air. They do. Very nice, okay. So then we can come down over here. Like that. And then let's give it one straight away. Right there. It's on the bar. Bam. And then here's the station. Very nice. Okay. And I can also... I should be able to run this up and down in case I die down here. I still have to place a bed and stuff. I'm going to make another little outpost just like I have up here. I still love how fast these um, rail tracks are when you go up and down. I mean... <laughs> You don't really need an elevator if you can be this fast here, right? But I'm going to need a little bit of fiber here real quick. Let's leave these tracks in here. And I'll need some coal. And I don't have any more lamp stands. I'm going to have to go uh, check upstairs. We just raided another desert temple, so we might have it. So I'm thinking of putting that one right here. Now, let's just make it real quick. So now, if I come... And sent this cart up here, right? It's gonna stop like this one, not all the way in the end like this, like weirdness, right? And then I can just stand here, take everything out of that one, and put it into this one. So it doesn't matter if I get overburdened or not, and then send it off the rest of the way. And I should be able to send this one down. So light fire and this stuff here, I'm gonna just leave here. So I am not burdened. I just do this, there we go. Yep, all right, very good. And then advance and return. 
So this one should go all the way down. We'll take the elevator. This one is a little weird, by the way. And I'm guessing it has to do with that this one is being next to it. Um, that usually, like this one, is on the bottom now, right? And you see elevate. And when I'm on the top, the default option is drop. While this one here still says elevate. Like, where are you going, right? And then I click drop and I go down. And then I'll probably, once I get more golden lampstands from upstairs, gonna do the same here, like... In the corners because don't forget that if I die on the bottom or something I won't have any light right and if I take this off you guys are gonna see it's it's quite dark and if you need to run down this this rail track here you might have problems seeing it so I do want to have a little bit of light in the shaft and so on but I'm very happy that this is done now because now that means I can really start mining down here and explore what are all the other minerals that I haven't found yet right I don't know like you guys just saw I had a little bit of gold um, and this is where it ends. And then, of course, I walk down here the stairs properly. And here's the rail cart. Yep, it stops right there. So I can just turn this fire out now. Until it's filled and whatnot. And here I have eight branches going in. These are four lamps done. So I got a little bit of light. Hey, what's going on here? How dare I not clean up my mess? Here we go. Alright, um, and then there's one more thing I want to show you guys, so I'm going to go all the way back up because Glitch and I went out and we did a little bit of taming earlier, and we got ice elementals. I also got a Gigantopithecus that just was stuck, and so I just fed it um, regular berries and got that one as well. But I want to show you guys the, the ice elemental real quick. Alright, here we are, and check it out. Say hello to Arnold. I hope one of you gets the reference. <laughs> this is an ice elemental right here. Um, he, of course, he cannot walk in or out, and it's also set on passive. And this guy here has a ton of weight and so on, and lots of stuff already spoiled. But it acts like a refrigerator. And they run on these, you tame them with modern magic stones or water magic essence. Knock them out with magical arrows. And guys, these, they consume so little. It's been sitting here for uh, over a day, over 24 hours, and it's eaten two of these mo water magic stones. So, um, don't let this shy you away that they need this as a food, right? And also, they do not need a saddle. Um, so, you can ride them, maybe. There we go. Uh, there we go. We're on top. And it doesn't have anything special. Um, Right-click, it shoots like a... If you guys can... Let me see if I can show this better. I don't want to take them out of here. Come on, right there. You guys see, he shoots like his gloves out. It's like a ranged attack. Left click is just an attack. And otherwise, when you sprint, it's like he's ice skating. There's a lot of health, 5,500. So it's a very tanky uh, tame. But it's it's never going to leave here. I'm going to have this guy. A, he looks really goofy. <laughs> and B, the refrigerator part is awesome. So I don't need to use that. The preserving bin is already gone. I took it out. And then I also wanted to update you guys on this one here. It's been a good 24 hours, and he's gotten 5 polymer, and it's he doesn't go up any higher than that. It's been sitting here forever, many hours with meat. So I think he can only hold 5, so I'm sure if I take this out now, he will produce more. But honestly, it's not worth it. Um, you would need a couple of them to make it worth it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this guy up and put him away. Let's put him in here. I don't want to wear him on my head or anything either. In case I take a lightning bug like in a dungeon or something where I don't want to wear the candle helmet, right? Because it doesn't give you much armor. But that is it for today, guys. I'm very happy that we got done all the way to bedrock. We started with electricity. And now let's just look ahead for a quick second of what is the next level that I really want to reach. I think it is seven-ish something. Let's check here on the metallurgy. I didn't learn any other stuff here. I, I don't... I... Fancy none of that. Maybe we'll play around with the marble stuff. Argentava saddle, I don't need to learn. Uh, Glitch has made me one for mine, so... Didn't even learn the Iron Axe, because the one I got is from a temple, from a ruins, right? So there isn't really much. The Iron Beast Gate might be interesting in the future. We have to get into brewing. You know what, I'm gonna learn this right now. Sour fruit juice. In container fruit juice, we'll play around with that. And then 65, we get the vault. That's nice. And then volcanic stuff and platform saddles. Industrial skill. There it gets nice here. 65, I can't wait to make this helmet. I wonder if it's any better. And then, of course, we get into the ceiling lamp. 
The wall lamp, I think these are all electricity. The cauldron lamp post. It looks like pants to me. And then, of course, the omnidirectional light and so on. So it's getting there. Can't wait to get to steel and test out all these other things here. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.